I think everyone would agree that the ending of good periods of our lives can be tough. During these endings, I personally find myself holding on tight to every last bit of that time and those experiences. One small but perfect example would be how we've been fortunate enough in Canada lately to get one last bout of nice weather before the days get colder and darker for many months. We are chasing every last bit of summer we can get and we're going to the Oyster River Potholes, apparently one of the nicest swim spots on the island. This ending of the summer has brought on a realization of more permanent endings that have started to be set in motion in my life. The question that this realization has raised for me is what aspects of these endings should I put in my focus and what should I be spending my time and energy on to allow for the most personal growth and positive perspective. It's numbing cold. One of the first good concepts that came to mind was that endings bring us together, just like how wanting to get outside to enjoy the last of the nice weather and swim brought Josh, Basil, Holly and I together for the day. A larger scale example of this would be how graduation and retirement parties bring people together to celebrate the end of school or the end of a life of work. So where we were at at the start of the day is not the Oyster River potholes that I thought we were at. And we are now there. Sunny pocket. While some endings seem like they would only hold sadness and emptiness, sometimes those endings turn out much better than we initially expected. All right, that's it for today's swimming adventure. One example of a recent ending like that is the end of my intimate relationship with my last partner, Kelsey. It was initially heartbreaking to imagine not having her in my life at all anymore, but we actually decided to stay good friends, roommates, and companions. And something I'm really grateful for is how we still get to enjoy the beautiful outdoors and even go on little adventures together. We have just arrived at the Lower Myra Falls trailhead. This is probably going to be the last waterfall swim of this summer for me before the season changes. It's not the warmest out today, but definitely worth it to get one more good waterfall swim in and at a place I've never swam before. Having this ending of my intimate relationship with Kelsey turn out much better than I thought was such an eye-opener to how easy it is to catastrophize and imagine the worst possible outcome when we experience certain endings in life. But I think we truly have the power to make any ending much easier by actively practicing gratitude for what we still have, as well as bringing ourselves back to the present when we start to worry about the future. So one of my favorite things about Lower Byra Falls is the sheer amount of waterfall drops there is here. And the water is just so green. Lower Myra is definitely one of the more popular spots on Vancouver Island as far as waterfalls go. So if you're looking to get out to a waterfall where you'll have the whole place to yourself and it's super peaceful, this might not be the spot. One fact about endings that I don't think we consciously think about much is that endings tend to bring on the realization of time being finite, which in turn can push us to try to spend our time more valuably. A lot of the river water in Strathcona Park never really warms up because it pretty much comes right from snow and ice. When it comes to focusing on the present and spending our time wisely, Lara Karstensen's socio-emotional selectivity theory suggests that it's possible that endings drive us towards things that promote happiness and contentment in the present. Waterfall swimming adventures are a perfect example of this for me. Oh yeah, that coat's strong. All right, that's enough cold water swimming for now. I think the most common good thing about endings that people are actually aware of is that endings bring on new beginnings, and with new beginnings come new opportunities. Definitely not something you'd want to fall into. Now the question I have is, how do I begin to use some of this information to my advantage when endings make me feel sad? 
Well, I guess a good place to start would be to take a look at my surroundings and what I still have. You have to be kind of careful if you come to the bottom of Myra Falls. The rocks get a little bit slippery for sure. What an amazing way to end summer. So many amazing tiny things in our lives go unnoticed, but I think any sad ending can be less sad by paying them more attention, with intention. And that is sadly the last waterfall swimming adventure for me for this summer. Subscribe if you like waterfalls. At the end of every day, the sun sets and can show us that beauty may only last a brief few moments. But the sun also rises every day to show us that we can experience that beauty again.